Alrighty, everybody, season four of Mortal Kombat 1 is now upon us. This is the big, huge crossplay update that we have been waiting a long time for, and also Peacemaker has now been added into the game. So if you own the combat pack, Peacemaker is now available for you. And I believe next week, if you don't have the combat pack, you will be able to purchase peacemaker separately now with every update at every season update every character every new character that comes in from the combat pack there comes quality of life updates the store refreshes there's new content in the shrine and in this video i'm going to be going over all of that so if you like to see these kind of videos more when we get these updates so you guys can be informed on what we get make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe so you don't miss content from me also make sure to join my discord if you guys want to join in the discussion and talk more about the game the link is in the description below so as you can see we're already on your screen right now it is on my screen it says wb games account congratulations you're connected you now have access to crossplay you have now connected mortal kombat 1 to your wb games account and link your Mortal Kombat Onslaught mobile game as well as to earn rewards in both games. I am told, I don't know if it'll tell you in the game, but I am told that if you link Mortal Kombat Onslaught with your MK1 game and you get rewards, and I think if you level up in Mortal Kombat Onslaught, you will get Dragon Crystals. Yes, you will get Dragon Crystals, and I believe you can get up to a thousand Dragon Crystals the more you level up. I think there's a threshold, there's a certain point where you don't earn more, but you can earn up to a thousand Dragon Crystals. So, I would play the game. I would play the game, save yourself some money when you go into the shop, because there is going to be skins in the shop. Um, and so, yeah, just play the game. Get yourself some Dragon Crystals. You guys wanted to earn Dragon Crystals. Here you guys go. I wish it was inside the game, but I will take any avenue I can get to uh, earn some Dragon Crystals and save some money. Alrighty. As we know, Peacemaker is now available if you own the combat pack. But if you don't own the combat pack, he will be available tomorrow. I'm sorry, not tomorrow. Uh, next week. So, yes, today, Peacemaker is now out. And also, the season of Huntress is here. The Molina season is now here. And uh, I'm personally not going to go over invasions this season. And I'll let you know why in a second. So, anyways, but yes, if you guys were a fan of invasions and you guys like to play invasions, well, and you're a fan of Molina, here you go. This is Molina's season. So, Let's go over first the uh, store because the store is going to be something that a lot of people like to see because the store refreshes with a lot of new content. It's not just recycle content like usually uh, while we wait in between months and stuff, um, it's recycle content. But uh, when it when we actually get new seasons, well, it's not recycle content. It's actually new stuff. And as you can see, uh, MK3 Sub Zero is now here. Uh, I think it's okay. I think it's a pretty good skin. I just think it's a little weird seeing Bihan with the scar. I think it would have been nicer if it was Kwai Liang and we had like a Kwai Liang voice line. So it was like sort of like a premiere skin. Uh, they still really can't get the squares right when it comes to the UMK3 skin. They've had this problem for a long time. But honestly, I will take anything that doesn't look like over-designed garbage and Sub-Zero has had the Deadly Alliance skin given to him, and now he has the UMK3 skin, which, again, it's not perfect, but it's better than most of the skins of this game. So, the rotating shop is all Titan Baraka, like this fan right here, Dark, Natara. Uh, these are all things that I don't really care for, uh, but I will say that I did see that Scorpion, UMK3 Scorpion, and UMK3 uh, Reptile and Smoke were in the files for this game. And I don't know when they're going to be added into the shop. All three of these may be coming in, or like uh, these two may be replaced with UMK3 Scorpion and UMK3 Smoke and eventually a UMK3 uh, Reptile. But we don't know when they will be added yet, but they are in the files. So you can expect within the next few days, we will be getting UMK3 Scorpion, UMK3 uh, Smoke and Reptile. I will say, look at the price. 
It is not $10. It is $6. Now, again, I wish it was a little less. I really wish it was a little less, but it doesn't look like we are paying $10 individually for, for one individual skin. They have reduced the price, and this can only be unlocked through the premium store. As you can see on the top left of these icons, these are exclusive to the premium store. There's a star right there that indicates that. But I'm happy that we are no longer paying. It doesn't look like we haven't been paying. It doesn't look like we are paying $10 skins anymore. Still, I do believe that $6 is a, still a little much, but I would rather pay 6 then pay 10. So that is currently in the premium shop. And now let's go over the seasonal items. So as you can see, this is the season of Huntress. But do you guys see a problem here? The whole background is pink. And all these skins are like green. And people have mohawks. And why everybody looks like they're, they've, they have barf all over them. Like... What kind of a season is this? So I'm just going to go over a few uh, seasonal items. If you guys would like to, go ahead and go into your game and check out your favorite character or your mains, uh, you know, seasonal items to see if you like it. But um, I am really not a fan of this because what the actual fuck is this? Seriously, like, why? This is the season of Melina, season of the Huntress. You know, Melina season, pink, purple, you know, these kind of soft colors. Uh, I don't see that here. <laughs> I honestly don't see that here. I'm going to go over my favorite character, Liu Kang. Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, this looks like actual garbage. This looks like actual garbage. Like, this is, is this supposed to be the fucking, like, Edgelord Joker or something? Like, I, I. <laughs> I don't have no, like, I'm so just, like, I, I just can't do anything but just say, like, I am tired. Like, I'm just tired of, like, these skins that are just, like, random bullshit, like, just barfed all over the screen. Like, uh, can we just get normal skins? Like, can we, can we actually get some effort into this stuff? I really, like, don't want to be mean, and oh my god. Oh my god, I, I was trying to say something and I couldn't stop. I couldn't help myself but to comment on this. What the actual fuck? Like, honestly, if you're rocking these skins, it's 100% to troll. 100% you are doing this to troll. Like, I, anyways, I, I, again, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I, I, I wish, I really wish that... Um, we just got better skins with this season and it just makes me really confused because these don't even resemble anything of Melina. This is Melina season and everybody has barf colors and mohawks. I have no idea what that has anything to do with Melina. This is ugly. I, I am very, very disappointed. Very, very disappointed for this season because these season skins are ridiculous but um anyways there are more skins that we could expect to see in the shrine remember the shrine updates every season so i uh, will be right back i'm gonna cut this video and i will unlock uh I'll, I'll you know i'll put in the coins and i'll tell you guys the most notable things that you can unlock from the shrine okay now the shrine is complete and there weren't a lot of skins that i was particularly a fan of or anything that caught my eye but i'm still going to go over some of the ones that i thought a lot of you guys will probably be interested in so the two included is honestly only two the two included the kung lao uh, story mode skin right here so you get the story mode skin from the fir very first chapter and uh, all the other different uh, color palettes that come along with it that's all in the shrine but i'm glad this skin is in the game uh, that you can play as now because i know a lot of people really wanted the skin i did as well so i'm glad that is in along with raiden 
Raiden's uh, suit or Raiden's uh, clothes or skin that he wears in the first chapter of the story mode is also in the shrine along with different color palettes. And like I said, with Kung Lao's, I'm really glad it's in the game uh, that you can play as because it is a pretty good costume. Very simple, but I like the simple stuff because the alternative is... Well, you saw those seasons, or you saw those skins from this season. Also, I believe that the Natara skin that some people pointed out was missing from a few seasons ago or something like that is now added in. I think it was this purple one, this purple color palette, uh, I guess was missing from a previous season. I don't remember which one it was, but it is now in the shrine. So if you guys were wondering, hey, I want that skin. Uh, I don't know why it wasn't, not, it, it wasn't added into the game. Well, it is now in the game now, and you can get it through the shrine. Uh, the other things that you can get are some like character icons for your combat card. There's some new skins for some other characters, like, you know, different color palettes and things like that that are related to this season. But nothing really of significance other than the Kung Lao, Raiden, and that missing Natara skin. So, now that we got that out of the way, let's go over the online. Let's go over crossplay. What do we get from crossplay? Is it as robust as I was hoping for? Are we getting a... Well, actually, before we get to that, let's go over the combat league and look at the rewards. Oh, not the leaderboards, excuse me. Oh my god, please get away. I'm going to cut this video. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Rank rewards. So, you get to Warrior Rank, you get the Molina skin, you get to Grandmaster Rick, you get that whatever the hell uh, Tanya skin, and then when you get to Elder God, you get that Havoc skin. Uh, I always get to Elder God every season. I make it a goal of mine to get to Elder God every season, so I'm still going to be able to... Un I'm still going to unlock these. I will still acquire them, but I'm not, like, playing Combat League to get these skins. Uh, I'm playing these... Uh, I'm playing Combat League to get to Elder God. So, uh, yeah. So, if you guys wanted to... If you guys wanted to, uh, there you go. You guys can get to Warrior Rank, Grandmaster Rank, Elder God Rank if you guys want those skins, along with these different gear pieces when you get to Apprentice, Combatant, Master, Champion, Demigod, and God. So anyways, so if you go to online settings, if you notice, crossplay is disabled by default. You have to enable crossplay manually. So what you would have to do is go to online settings and enable crossplay. There we go. It, uh, it'll verify for a little bit. And uh, you get to look at, and with the ping display, you can either look at milliseconds or bars. I usually like milliseconds because it's just a little bit more accurate, even though the game is a little wonky when it comes to online, but still, it's a conversation for another day. But you are entering a game mode where cross-network play, cross players could be present. So when that happens, look at this. You have an, the access to a social tab with the crossplay. So you go to social and retrieving social data. You get to see your friends from crossplay offline. Like you have to see your WB friends. You have game invites. These are like the invites that you would get from crossplay. So if you have somebody who plays on PC or if you have somebody who plays on Xbox, this is where you're going to find the invites. Also, friend requests. These are crossplay invites. Players met. And look at this. You can add or you can block players. You can now block players online and. That's really fucking cool. I really like that. So here's another thing that I would also like to go over because I saw this over on Twitter. If you go over to, you know, players met the players that you have played against, uh, you go over to them and you can actually block them. You can block them and you can rep I already ran over that, but you can report them. You can report them from communication abuse, offensive name, harassment, cheating, or hacking, and then add additional comment. Honestly, what they should add in report player is they should add a plugger, you know, like our intentionally disconnecting option because, well, that is a problem in Mortal Kombat 1 as it is in Tekken 8. Tekken 8 actually has this option as well. You can report somebody for leaving the game early, but you can report a player and block them and... My God, am I going to be using this very, very much. So, yeah. So, you have to link your WB Games account, and uh, your display name through Crossplay is going to be whatever, you know, like whatever your WB Games account is. And then this is where you get the friend requests from different, uh, from different platforms. This is where you get the game invites and all that. So, I am actually really glad that we have a very innovative and like up to industry standards 
a crossplay feature. It is not a crossplay beta situation as it was in Mortal Kombat 11, where it was only uh, uh, optional or it was only available in the online rooms and it was only available through casual matches you weren't able to do in rank you weren't able to uh, invite privately uh, invite people you weren't able to block people you weren't able to report people or anything like that we actually got pretty much 99 percent 90 percent of what we wanted when it comes to crossplay so i'm really happy about that unfortunately though online rooms do not exist and you cannot do king of the hill through crossplay so cross as you can see crossplay is not enabled crossplay is not even an option to do king of the hill and that's really unfortunate that's really unfortunate because a lot of tournament organizers were really looking forward to this crossplay feature because it would have give them gave them new content to create it would have give them uh, more avenues to invite more people into their tournaments and uh, organized tournaments and they don't have this option they haven't had this option for several months and they're going to have to wait until God knows how long until they can get that kind of feature added into the game. We do know that uh, Netherrealm did say that King of the Hill, Crossplay King of the Hill will eventually come, but we don't know. And it sucks that we have to wait even further. At least those who are were, who are wanting to do King of the Hill and tournament organizers who are are willing or who are wanting to create tournaments through Crossplay uh, are not going to be able to do that. So that's just it just sucks it really really just sucks but anyways uh that is pretty much all the main things that we have i am going to be going over i forgot to mention i am going to be going over peacemaker and his customizable uh traits so when it comes to gear it's his helmet his helmet is his gear and um when it comes to skins well i mean it's his clothes just like with the other dlc characters peacemaker has 20 levels for his character mastery not 35 which is kind of to be expected but in case you were wondering he only has 20 um nothing really new here but you get a taunt brutality palettes uh, concept art and even more gear and even more palettes and uh, along with combat card backgrounds and art that you can equip on your you know character icon but anyways that is all we have got for today's update honestly it is great that we have crossplay here it is great that we have peacemaker i know a lot of people were looking forward to him um there were some skins in the, in the store and in the shrine that i know some people like but unfortunately i'm kind of disappointed with this season i was kind of hoping a little for a little bit more quality of life updates to be added into the game uh, for uh, uh, other than crossplay and peacemaker, I will say that you know the things that we got for crossplay, like the ability to block players, the ability to report players, and to be able to invite people privately and all that. I'm glad that crossplay, in the most important ways, was implemented into this game, and I really like that. Uh, but I, I was just hoping for a little bit more. Um, it is a step in the right direction, but it also is. Uh, worth acknowledging that we're taking a step back here when we get crossplay we can get crossplay but we can't get crossplay for king of the hill and this sets back a lot of the tournament organizers and a lot of the competitive players who are really hoping for crossplay to be enabled through king of the hill because king of the hill is actually how you you know organize these online tournaments and things like that but uh yeah so it sucks that we every time we have to take a step forward we have to take a step back as well it just it sucks it shouldn't have to be this way but uh anyways let me know what you guys think about this season. Uh, I think it was pretty... It just it just wasn't up to my expectations, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, guys. But, hey, the comments are right there for you guys to let me know. If you guys have a different opinion than me, if you guys if, the, if you guys found what you looked for, then that's great. And you guys are happy, that's great. Uh, but if you're, you know, if you're on the fence or if you're disappointed, again, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for all things Mortal Kombat. I will see you guys next time.